Spying is all part of a day's work for a detective. Snooping on suspects and rummaging through their dirty laundry isn't the most glamorous side of the job, but it's a way of getting answers from suspects with tight lips. Mipumi Games' mystery adventure The Flower Collectors embraces the art of snooping and has you peeping on a whole street from the balcony of your apartment. Somebody's coming on strong. You play as Jorge, a grizzled ex-police officer confined to a wheelchair, who has a habit of watching the comings and goings of the plaza below his apartment balcony. One night, Jorge witnesses a murder in the plaza square and decides to don his police officer hat once more and investigate. Binoculars in hand, you'll need to solve this mystery by spying on neighbors, following their movements, and learning their secrets. I didn't see the shooter, but I got a good view of the victim. It's obvious that broad strokes of the setup have been taken from Hitchcock's rear window, but the flower collectors parts from its inspiration in every other aspect. Instead of a building block in the sweltering heat of 1950s New York, this murder investigation takes place in a sun-kissed, breezy plaza of 1970s Barcelona, although everything is far from calm. Mipumi Games does a great job of capturing the atmosphere of the time period, something they also did masterfully in A Lion's Song. Spain is facing the political fallout of the post-Franco rule, and fascism still grips the country. There's brutal repression on minorities, artists, journalists, and anyone who doesn't embrace Spain's order and tradition. If this really is her, people can't find out about this. You don't know the shit people like her go through. I didn't mean... It's none of our business anyway. It's a time of unease and distrust, and this murder might well be the boiling point for this quiet plaza. In this way, it's thematically very different to Hitchcock's thriller. Also, every character is an anthropomorphic animal, which would have made Rear Window a very different film. Of course. I know that you're on our side. And, uh, what side is that? Tradition, of course. Helping you solve the murder is Melinda, a young, rebellious journalist. The two of you team up together, Jorge acting as the eyes in the sky, and Melinda doing the groundwork. You'll need to watch what characters are doing, look for evidence from afar, and guide Melinda through some tricky situations as she infiltrates some sketchy scenes. When you've gathered clues and information, you can hang it up on the crime board and link everything together. There's not much puzzle solving or real investigation to do as the story is pretty linear, but there are some fun moments, like tracking a character as they move through their apartment by peering through the building's different windows. Having the mystery unfold right before you is really cool, but unfortunately there's an overall lack of polish and detail in the animations, which pulls you out of the story. The character movements are pretty clunky, with over-exaggerated gestures that echo the Sims over-the-top animations. It's not a big deal overall, but at times it has the effect of pulling the game's punches in moments when it tackles heavy topics like police brutality. Although a little awkward, The Flower Collectors tells an important story of how a country's turbulent past can ripple into its present. Scanning the plaza, searching for clues and following suspects is a fun investigative tool and a clever way of having a story unfold. Thanks for watching PC Gamer, and please subscribe for more content.